Hello people, I am Jabby Kway, joined by Achara Kirk. Hello. We're going to look at Kashi, the official trailer with Sharman Joshi and Ashwarya Devan. This is directed by Diraj Kumar and it's written by Manish Kishore. Ganga! कौन सच बोल रहा है कौन छूट हमें समझ भी नहीं आ रहा है कुछ तो गड़बड़ है कहीं और भी जाती थी चार कश ले ले। कहा नहीं है मेरे बेटे की जगह में गंगा का पानी नहीं मेरा खून है तो किसी की जान ले भी सकते जिस गंगा के कारण ये दर दर भटक रहा है दरअसल वो गंगा है ही नहीं क्योंकि गंगा का कोई अस्तित्व ही नहीं है तो गंगा कहाँ से आएगी ओम त्रम्बकम यजाम है गंगा सगरों से ओझल हो जाएगी सुगंधिम पुष्टि वर्धना काशी से नहीं गुरुवार बंधना मृत्यु और मुक्षीय मामता हम खोज लेंगे उसे काशी को फांसी होनी चाहिए मुंह मांगे की मत मिलेगी He's the one from Three Idiots, right? Is he? Oh yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> the whole situation breaks out of court. This is very much like Kahani where, I mean, that's not a bad thing. Kahani was a very interesting story uh -huh. where you've got this person who's looking for someone and it's like, everyone's like, no, no, not, doesn't, I don't know who you're talking about. It doesn't exist. It turns out that the, that the, she's not crazy in Kahani. Right. Um, I'm not going to give away the plot twist in case you guys, I'm sure most of you watching this have seen Kahani. Kach Achara has. Kachara. Ach I've only seen Kahani too. Yeah. Achara. But you, I guess you do know the. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, so, it's fine. I'm fairly certain that in this story, he's not crazy. It goes so far as to, you know, there's a courtroom there's yeah. a drama aspect to this thing. So I would imagine that it is real, at least from his perspective, and there's other people to support his side of the story. Yeah, there is, but then it, it begs the question, why is everyone trying to cover this up? Because it seems right. to go really deep. Like, right. if the authorities are trying to make it seem like he's crazy, why? Well, that's what I, I'm imagining is getting uncovered in the courtroom somehow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's a very interesting story. <sighs> that's such a, was it you or someone else told me like, because of that movie Unsane, like there's nothing more frustrating than someone telling you that you're crazy and what you're, what you believe is not real. Oh, I, th I think it was my friend. Yeah. It's like, it's really frustrating this feeling of like, it's, you're helpless. You feel so helpless because you're trying with all your energy to like convince people of something yeah. you know to be true. And everyone around you is because of some ulterior motive telling you, no, no, no. You're crazy. As the, I suppose, main character or victim in the situation, you're like, how do I, how do I break past this? Like, you, 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 you literally feel helpless. Yeah, but at some point, do you question yourself? I mean, I'm sure in this situation, sure you do. He's, like, he's probably you feel like, crazy. I know my sister. I felt her. I've touched her. I've, you know, I grew up with her. I have this history with her. And now everybody's saying that she's not real and they're, you know, saying these awful things about her. Like that thing when the cop was like, oh, maybe she just went off with someone for some fun. Right. You know, it's like, no, it's your job 
to investigate like don't make judgments if someone comes and says look my sister's missing you should take that seriously instead of just dismissing it as you know oh it's just a teenage girl running off with you know a boy or her friends or whatever so this role is obviously very different from what we've seen before with Sharman Joshi. I feel like I've seen him in a number of other films or trailers, mm -hmm. and I just, like, he's one of those people who, oh yeah, he's in that movie, oh yeah, he's in that movie. Right, I yeah. mean, at least for me. Like, there's a lot of American actors like that where you, you see someone's face, like, uh, Lee Shriver, is that mm -hmm. his name? Like, for a long time, like, no one knew who Lee Shriver was. He was just like, oh, that guy! Yeah. You know, and I, I feel like Sharman Joshi might have been that kind of face, and, like, here he is with his own film where he's the star and it's like this feels like I don't know I, I remember his role in three idiots being emotional mm -hmm. and in this one it's like it's taken to this extreme of a, a lot drama with a lot more heights right yeah but, you with know like super high stakes exactly I, I phrase that kind of funny the <laughs> the heights of drama yes <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore Ashwarya Devon I don't know who that is they certainly picked a beautiful lady to be his uh I was gonna say sidekick I suppose it is sidekick right I said I don't know who Ashwarya Devon is and then sure enough in the comments people are gonna be like you saw her in like a thousand trailers so it looks like she's been a, in maybe a bunch of Malayalam films she's gorgeous I didn't really understand like her role in all this yeah in the trailer well it almost seems like we need a lady Obviously, we can't have his sister because she's missing. Mm -hmm. He has, I don't know, a friend, a girlfriend, a wife, someone yeah. who's like the the hot chick. The Betty. The Betty. Who's his anchor helping him through all this. I mean, I hope that, you know, when, when you watch the movie, you're like, oh yeah, she certainly has more of a purpose than just to be pretty and, uh, you know hang around and so Well, yeah. I mean, like, the trailer has to tell its own narrative in order to effectively communicate to you like what the stakes are in this film. Let's read what the YouTube description says. Kashi, a pinned on your seat thriller, is about the eponymous simple man Kashi, portrayed by Sharman Joshi, who dwells in this city. Kashi finds his world suddenly in turmoil when his young college-going sister Ganga goes missing. Distraught but determined, he partners with a journalist, played oh, by Ashwarya, okay. with a passion for finding the truth and ventures on a quest in search of his missing sister Ganga. This search leads him to the most unexpected of findings, revealing the layered secrets of Kashi's life. Oh. The quest takes them on a wild goose chase from Varanasi to the Queen of the Hills, Musuri. Will he find Ganga? So, ah, that um, sounds interesting. It turns out that, uh, yes, I was right. Yes, <laughs> she good. Does, she does have purpose. Good, it just, I'm glad. It just wasn't fully revealed in the trailer because you can only say so much. Exactly, and, and the main point is about Kashi's journey. But that's interesting what it says about, like, the layered secrets of Kashi's life. Has he been involved with the criminal underworld and now it's kind of affecting his Yeah, that's other life. that's definitely different from Kahani where it's not about what she did, it's not about covering up something that his sister did, but it's about getting back at him. Yeah, it could be. It's about, you know, dealing it's a, how do I phrase this? It's payback for something that he's done in his former years and now this is like the revenge that is that's driving him crazy. Kind of like an old boy type situation maybe. A little where, bit. Where it's been planned out for a multitude of years yeah. and then you know everything's just falling into place to make it seem like he's crazy or that his sister the person that he loves the most in the entire world never even existed at all. Yeah, I mean, I think that could be potentially the most painful form of revenge. Mm -hmm. Where instead of just outright killing someone, instead of just outright taking their life or taking his sister's life, as the case may be, you set up a situation where he basically feels like he's losing his mind. Yeah. I feel like that's probably the worst thing you can do to someone that is really torturous. That's worse than putting them in jail, is where they feel like they could uncover this, but they're just finding that they're questioning their own sanity and losing their mind, like questioning their entire life of, didn't I have a sister? Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, this is really interesting. It's a very, very interesting premise. All that stuff with Holy is beautifully shot. It looks really, really cool. One of the things that's interesting to me is the contrast in the, in the film. It doesn't have as deep or as a vibrant a, a color palette mm. as you normally find in Bollywood films. Yeah, it's a little and bit desaturated, it's, isn't yes. it? Yes, and I'm not against that. 
it's just interesting and I thought that was worth remarking because normally like you find this very vibrant color yeah. with with Bollywood films. Yeah, but I feel like those are more the ones with maybe a romantic story. Well, not necessarily true. You'll find those like even in non-romantic films, it's just like it's just the trend, right? Like right. you, you okay. find that usually the films almost like um ever since Michael Bay films had had a lot deeper saturation right, in yeah, colors, yeah. right? And so, likewise, I mean, I don't know what was the impetus for Bollywood's change in color palette, but you, you generally see that most of the time. Whenever it's like this, where the colors are a little bit more desaturated or natural, this it feels like more of an indie film, in a way. Yeah. Uh, like Kahani. Like, Kahani's look is just like this, where it's not super saturated in the colors, it's not super vibrant, it feels more like real, almost like straight out of the camera, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. If that makes any kind of sense. Yeah. Like they didn't spend a lot of time with post-processing is what it feels like. I'm sure there was um, color yeah. correction, <laughs> but it feels like less so. It feels more naturalistic. I think that's just telling us, you know, this is the type of movie you can expect. We're going for more of a naturalistic tone. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's gonna feel raw and edgy and uncomfortable, maybe. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Be sure to check out Achara Kirk. She's on the social media, mm -hmm. and she likes to hang out with everybody there. It's all she does all day, on her phone, hanging sad, out with people. Sad, but true. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.